Just do wow, you think that is an right incredible guy? fact, but let's look do the intro for this YouTube video. We've got Diamond and his Bretonians versus Aldrea and his Necromantic team in the booth with me and doing most of the talking because my throat is absolutely destroyed is Dimmy G and Fimey. Hello. Hello, everybody. Here we have uh, Diomed with Breath, Diomed which uh, won the past edition of the CCL Cup, and Aldrea with a uh, a necro team which is a little better than uh, the OMS team. That's a tiny TV difference. It's pretty nice to be fair. <laughs> He's got a cat straight away, oh, is it? No, it's a stun. But uh, yeah, that werewolf is pretty nice. Shrimp for mighty blow, uh, bludge and tackle is a pretty lovely werewolf. Although it's a little bit exposed at the moment. So. <laughs> Wonder if we're going to see it get stabbed. Yeah, the uh, inducements were like his t terrible team, the Bretts, but he's got Zara, Griff, Wizard, um, and he's got a Tackle Pommer, hasn't he, which can do things. So it's it's interesting, very interesting. Yeah, Tackle Pommer with Wrestle, unfortunately. Rough. Mm. I don't know. That's a desperate uh, play. And it's like, that's the thing, we've taken a Tackle Pommer on the Brets, it's, it's the thing, because like, you, you've only got like four guard access players, like naturally, and then uh, to, to not take guard on one is a bit sad. Mm -hmm. Obviously down ten players now. He's got free bench though, hasn't he? I guess that's the thing with the two stars that he's got, he's giving himself a massive bench. He was talking about, um, <clears throat> I was talking to Diamond the other day and he was talking about how like mass spend is, uh, can be problematic for some coaches. Mm. Alright, now the wolf is more or less safe. And now he needs to protect a little level. A weird setup, isn't it? The way they've, they've, they've lined up. <laughs> yeah, like this is, you know. So some yeah. people might say this is absolutely ter ter horrendous from Maldrea, but of course, if I said it, it would mean that I hate Spanish people, so I would never say that this is terrible. I think. And I mean, there's a, there's a gaping hole. Yeah. I, don't like, I don't like this setup <laughs> from uh, uh, Aldrea. I mean,. He's protecting the wolves more than the ball, which I don't know if that's the right move because Griff is in the general area <laughs> and he can put a lot of pressure, divide the team, the necro team, you know? Yeah, you just come through the wrestles on being in the middle and then you get your whole team through there and you separate. Yes. Like, it's, just, it's not even difficult, is it? It wouldn't be so bad if that, if that wrestle zombie was the other flesh golem, but even then it's probably not my favorite thing. Yeah, yeah, that would, yeah. Just rely on a fleshy to hold it would, wouldn't be so bad. But now you're guaranteed to push almost, aren't you? And even oh, yeah. start, the push gets you through. So it's anything but quad skulls, and you're through with t as much pressure as you can muster. Yeah, I mean, he, I, obviously he would never do it, but he could just bolt the gourd if it armor breaks. <laughs> <laughs> He's absolutely screwed, like. <laughs> Oh, Blitzer with Mighty Blow, we got a pro in the house. <laughs> Get star. Oh, see, this is the problem with Wrestle Pommers, mate. Well, I mean, he was he was blitzing a wrestler in anyway, so. Yes, so Yeah, but if he had jugs, <laughs> if he had jugs, Jim, you know. I think I would prefer uh, instead of Pylon, uh, maybe jugs or something like that in that kind of piece. Has he got a wrestle on every zombie? Is there, is there an actual skill of zombie on the pitch? That's a, yeah, it looks like he's got lots of wrestle. Yeah. That's pretty good to be fair. Like I don't like. Obviously, you don't really want to level them up, but like the fact that they've all got wrestle is pretty interesting. Mm. It means there's no one really reliable to blitz. Like, well, they're wolves. <laughs> they're whites. Yeah, if but like, I mean, they, they've got block. They've got yeah. block as well, haven't they? That's the yeah, thing. It's a, it's a, it's a hell of it. Like, it's a great team that Aldrea has built. You know, block sure hands. Very, very uh, TV efficient. Yeah. Very, very TV efficient because there is only one startup and this is strength. So it's like. Yeah, and it's probably the best startup. I mean, like, obviously you can argue like edge and that as well. Yeah. 
it's a fucking great team. Absolutely, it's a great. lovely team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what is it? It's like 1700, is it, or something around there? I think it's more like 2000. <laughs> oh, is it, is it a lot? Higher? Yes, it's, I mean, they're, they're good wolves, aren't they? They're, they're like two, three skill fleshies. It's Let me pretty, check. It's a pretty sick team. It's a pretty sick team. Where is he? It might be 18 or 19, I don't know. It is at 1900 on the button. This is not bad at all, is it, really? Like. Pretty sick team. How much guard has he got? He's got like six guard, and he five guard. Five. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is, the, this is the game with the most wrestle pieces we're gonna see in a long while. Yeah. And like, it's quite funny as well because Diomed's normally the one playing Necro, isn't he? Mm. That was the team he won with the uh, Chalice. Did yeah, he? I really didn't. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, with the uh, claw palm werewolf that was AV bust and niggled <laughs> 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 and survived the whole chalice. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. And he actually, he actually smashed Burt's in the first round. I don't know if you remember Sindane's Burt team that was like seventeen zero zero. Oh yeah. It was eight. Oh yeah. Yeah, and he absolutely annihilated him. Like, not play wise, just like removal wise, but. This was not good enough from uh, he, had to <clears throat> he was a little bit deep, wasn't he? He was a bit deep, yeah. that's the thing. Like, he set up, because obviously he was trying to prevent a blitz, I guess. His team is pretty slow, and he obviously doesn't want them getting, like, the good players getting smashed by the wolf, right? So that's why he had to just give, he just fed these two to the wolf and wanted to protect the better players. But, like, I guess he had to do GFIs to stop this being so easy and everything. It was like, it was a hard turn, like, you know, it's not, I'm not criticizing, it's just, it's just like he needed too many, like, these probably had a double GFI, both of them, and then move that through, and then probably put Griff more. Like he probably had just made like a million. He probably had to make like lots more GFIs than what he did for it to be effective. I mean, he's probably he, he, he could be looking at a wizard next turn. Maybe not. Oh, I think so. Yeah, but like you say, there's that flesh column that's completely separated. Yeah, so at least he's got something out of it, yeah. Yeah, at least he's got something out of this. Like, okay, he hasn't he hasn't destabilized the drive, but at least he's got a good a good isolating of the fleshy. Yeah, pistachio, it's Sara and Griff. Yes, pistachio, Sara and Griff. It's a uh, plus one to your stab. Mm. Stabby stabby. Why play Blood Bowl when you can stab people? Yes. Exactly. Oh, look at that lovely base in there. Wow. He can stab it. He can stab it for free. <laughs> is, he, is he punching Zara? Yeah, I don't think he can. Can he? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, can he? I think he's going for the ability with the wolf. As a guard, so yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But it's a bit rowdy because that. Uh, well, I guess it. It reconnects the fleshy, but now you've left a bigger gaping hole, haven't you? It's the full pow. Instant full pow. Just a stun. Just a stun. That could have been, like, huge if you got rid of that. Mm. Oh, that werewolf is move bust as well. Yeah. 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 This is a huge team split, though, now, isn't it? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can put a load of pressure on. Be yeah. interesting. <laughs> I mean, he has the stand firm and golem and the white to cover the right side of his cage, so that's more or less all right. Yeah. Now, see, I haven't got anything against Spanish people, but oh uh, my god! But that was a shithead necro blitz, wasn't it? <laughs> Don't you? I know? wonder. I, I wonder <laughs> if he's gonna foul it. Yeah, he should hundred percent foul that wolf. <laughs> Problem is, though, is if DP's double tags. Hmm. Yeah, that is a big problem, isn't it? You could try and chain him. <laughs> I guess. I mean, he could. I was looking at that. I was <laughs> looking at the, the chain him out and then run all the way around. But the problem is, he can't. He can't get one in the square on the left of the DP, can he? That's the problem. Yeah. Otherwise, it is actually really doable. <laughs> Hello, Stradik. Yep, up dead early to 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 bring these live matches. Hundred percent committed. 
What a legend. Yeah, five in the morning somewhere. <laughs> yeah, somewhere, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Jimmy's got 69 viewers. Well, hey! Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, no one is allowed to leave or join. <laughs> yes, please don't don't unsubscribe, please. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jim needs all his viewers after the tragedy <laughs> of the GG tournament where one coach decided to unfollow Jim in all his social media. Uh, did, you, did you notice that you lost one follower? So I don't know if you got the numbers. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't look to be honest. <laughs> You know, do you know how many subscribers, like, YouTube subscribers you've actually got? Uh, like, you know, it's like, uh, it's over 5,000, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it could be... Oh, really? Uh, 5.3, I think, maybe? Does it fluctuate a lot, or does it just sort of stagnate? It stagnated for a long time when I was barely uploading, but then once I started uploading a bit more, it's it's been growing a bit, so yeah. Way growing, way. way. Oh, it's 5.58, yeah, it was like, it was, it stayed around 5 for ages, so yeah, it's, it's come on quite quite well recently. Must be the introduction of uh, the new casting team. It must be. Yeah. Guaranteed, guaranteed. I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure the people in comments will leave uh, dozens, literally dozens of comments about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he's definitely fouling it, but I guess he's doing it with the uh, <coughs> the, the peasant on the floor there. Yeah. He he's, like, he's sacrificing quite a bit of his like, He is, he's position. basically abandoning the defence just to kill this. Yeah, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Like, it's just region, isn't it? I hate fouling region. It, yeah, it's, never... it's hard to say. I, I, I feel like if he'd bombarded the cage, maybe that could have been good, but it's it's so hard. Like, it's so hard to resist fouling this. And Yeah, I, it would do me. Like, as soon as he failed that uh, dodge, like, or whatever it was, the G GFI, or whatever it was. But... It's, it's too juicy. It's, I mean, it? it's just like come it's, on, it's like, Jimmy, yeah. you're from the school of Bolt the Wolf. Yeah, yeah, Bolt yeah. The Bolt the goddamn wolf. <laughs> I still wake up at night in cold sweat screaming, Bolt the Wolf. Now, now oh, uh, it's Diomed. Diomed is the one that can uh, Bolt the Wolf, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this is why he's doing this. He's just, the words of Dimmy are ringing in his ears. <laughs> he's thinking. In other words, because off. Dimi decided not to speak to Diomed ever again. <laughs> the bulky. Oh, it's high up! High up! Oh no, it's a gym foul. Nice. Lorga the Furry. What that name? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, now unfortunately he's abandoned the defence and made a gym foul, so yeah, that's pretty fucked. What was it? Double sixes on the armour? <laughs> Wouldn't have been so bad. Well, if it's that way round, he wouldn't have broke armor, I guess. But... I mean, he has a, a really easy bolt on one of the stand firm pieces and two dice on the bolt. Yes. But he then, like. That, but he's going to still have to at least another shot to, you know. His... The I mean, the problem... are not particularly slow, so. Yeah. I mean, the issue with the the bolt and the two dice on the ball is like you're scattering the ball next to the dodge that werewolf, and and it's really difficult to get it. Hmm. It's, it's it's quite tense. I mean, I don't know how much there is to think about here. Maybe he's um gonna hit the leader. Mm. Like, I mean, he has the free hit or gets the pow. Oh, he powers it, just instant pow. Oh, and it's a Kaz, oh. and it's oh, an apple, apple fails. Oh, oh man, oh man, oh, that's almost GG. Massive equity shift. Now it's now like Zara and Griff's job just got bigger. Yeah. That's a huge cast. And also cost him a reroll because he lost the leader. Yeah. So he's down to two now. Didn't even, well, he didn't even get to use it, did he? No. Nope. Mm. He's down to two. Hearing his wolf out. Very nice. Really nice. Is he going to mighty blow the peasant? 
You have four rerolls, Aldraya. This will be a good time to. To get wrestled. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have hit the peasant there, to be honest. Hmm. Like, not even that. Like, I would have hit the one next to the stunned wrestle guy on the floor with the mighty blow, but. Mm. This doesn't maybe, look safe maybe, already. Maybe. That, <laughs> that one screw he's moved to doesn't look safe already. He hasn't even finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, not going to be a very safe cage. I could, I, yeah, he's gone too far. He's going to go sideline. Wow. I guess that's a decision. And the thing is, is the stand firm should be the one in the middle if he's going... Oh, he's going all the way up. Okay, that, yeah, that makes more sense then. Mm. It's still... Yeah, it's going to be hard for him to, like... Because he's just... He's completely, like, cut away from the rest of his team now. And it's going to be really hard. Like, he's not he's not scoring on turn 8. I can tell you that now. No, he, but I, that's uh, the thing. You'd, th you'd think... You'd think that Diamond would come through and put some pressure on. But he might want to just abandon ship to foul the wolf again. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, tempting, and he can actually clear the dirty player this time as well, which he couldn't do last time. I would prefer to go and, you know, go where the ball is, but who knows? Watch, try yes, and win the game. Yes, so, I think, yes. Uh, yeah, I, think, I think trying to win the game is not a bad idea. There's seven players over there, like, marginalising I mean, seven players seems a pretty good idea, doesn't it? Yeah, yes. and he can really upset this four. Like, all he has to do is base, like, both those whites. I mean, golem on the floor, so the golem can be, you know, just only move one square next time. Another zombie on the floor that can only move one square. The wolf is a uh, MB busted, so he can literally just uh, surround the cage. He's having so a long look at A this, lot, huh? a lot of pressure. Zara's got jump up, hasn't she? Yeah. yeah, jump up, stab, golem straight away. First action. <clears throat> Let's just think about the wizard, I don't know. She could come around there and tag both of these off, which would be pretty sick. Yeah, I saw, uh, you know, uh, Unseen Walker, he, that famously. Because, <laughs> you know, when you got jump up, like, if you go to, like, because normally if you blitz off the floor, you just double click the player, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. But then, because she had jump up, like, because he was trying to get her into scoring range, and then because he double clicked her and she had jump up, she just stood there. <laughs> <laughs> It's just brilliant. It's just mm -hmm. like, oh no, she's got jump up. <laughs> <laughs> I was cracking up. <laughs> Do you know what? Yesterday I got plus three subscribers on my YouTube. So yeah, sadly, sadly did not notice salty man on something. <laughs> oh, you got plus three subscribers. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I was just, I'll, you, I can check the analytics. Very okay. exciting. Like and subscribe and stay fantastic. Oh, and yeah. don't forget to click the bell to get a, <laughs> an annoying message every single time Jimmy does anything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, disgusting. I don't think that was the play. No? I think uh, he was. Uh, he already had two dice. He could have gone with the wrestle bomber to the stand of film piece. He'd have to GFI though. That's the problem. But yeah, it's. I would want to. I would want to hit with a wrestle bomber. I would have wanted to hit with a wrestle bomber. The problem is the GFI. So it's a tough call. It is a tough call. That. One, two, three. Yeah. You know, like don't get me wrong. I definitely would have wanted to blitz with. Tackle Palmer, but he's only got two rerolls and doesn't re read, doesn't want to put one into the GFI, does he? So it's. Oh, he might be doing what you said here. Yeah. There you go. Whoa. Whoa. Not bad at Blood Bowl. Well done, Jim. Well done, Diamond. Dodge with the uh, peace and. No. What do you expect Diamond to do? Well, he's the former champion. <laughs> yes. Or current yes, champion, even. The yeah, champion, I mean, you know, trying to get the 49 and the 50th. His mm. team is absolutely garbage. Mm. And it's a DP, he's not getting any value out of DP either. It's, amazing. Um, it's weird that he went block and then DP. Yeah, 
Maybe, maybe, maybe like he had a DP and it died, and then he was just like, I need DP and it leveled, and it was just like, yeah. Also, what else do you give a bloody peasant? You know, with already has a, a tackle, like. Uh, I don't Not know. a lot, though, is there? <laughs> no, shadowing. You might have taken block when it was like early on in development. So you can yeah. just having another block players is good, and then later on, you know, you don't care about the blocks so much and you want DP. So it could just be a completely natural skill progression. And uh, <clears throat> how well kicks you go, us and how you, yeah, us. you'd go block kick, wouldn't you? And then on the kick guy, you'd go DP. Uh, I mean, I would have. Like, like, oh man. man! Great, great standing there. Why would you stand there with Zara? Just, just guarantees him. Guarantees are getting oh, left. <laughs> what a great player you are, Jim. What a great player. I mean, if it wasn't GG before, <laughs> like, Aldrea's going to have to actively try to lose this from mm. this position. Why didn't you just foul the wolf? That would have been the best play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now makes another mistake of running the Davis Carlos, but no, he gets the pow. Oh, yeah. Well, and now I think Aldrea has an easy way to score in turn 8. All he needs yeah. to do is, yeah, yeah, all he needs to do is remove Griff and this is done. Yeah, and he's, he's managed to he's managed to regroup, hasn't he? He's got his whole team back together now with that turn. So that, that was definitely, you know, you've got to say not good enough from... Diamond, like, and I'm not saying it was easy to make it good enough, but like, there had to be something better to, to split the team like that. Time. Oh, that, nice. was, that was way too easy to regroup. I think Aldrea left the door open. Oh my glass of my nines. <laughs> oh my nice. god! <laughs> and Diomed uh, didn't uh, uh, took advantage of it mm. as Sometimes much as he could have done. Just says no, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's a thing. Yes, on another on another day, that massive fang, gang foul on the wolf would have killed it, and you know his region would have failed, and then not get sent off. But instead, it's sent off for nothing. And then it's GG after a couple of hits, isn't it? So how many birds are on a pitch? One, two, three. Five. Is it six? Five standing. Oh, it's surrendered. And here comes the wolf uh, for another. Uh, I mean, I think that that, that guard, the uh, blocker, is gonna have. No, look at this. He can, he, can, he can chain. He can chain into an extra hit. Oh, but he's a bit slow, isn't he? So maybe not. One, two, three, four. No, he's, he's fast enough. Yeah, he's fast enough. Yeah, uh, yeah. He can chain the. Okay, he's not. The zombie for an extra assist on the block with the white. Oh yes, keep going, ladies. Yeah, you, like you can use the, you can use the. He had two options. He could have, he could have just, you know, done what he'd done, which is using the fleshy stand firm, or he could have run around up here, blitzed him, and obviously only one hit because of fen. But it would have, uh, it would have chained this guy in for a wolf, wolf hit. No, he was an option, but I guess leaving him there wouldn't have been the best. Yeah. If that was better or not. From that position with the second uh, hit. No, I, I, I quite like uh, chaining the extra hit, personally. Yes. No, no, there was, if he was a power, he had an extra hit, uh, an extra assist for that hit he has made, uh, pushing the Wessel Zombie up. Mm. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much what he's doing right now, because he's way ahead. Yeah, I mean, this is... <laughs> well, that's why I like, that's why I like getting the extra hit, right? That was the thing, but, but if he runs around there, I guess, and it, ain't it gets an extra hit, so I think it's pretty important to do that when he's so far yeah. ahead that, you know, like, it's been maximizing yes. his effort. you need to go for the, you need to go for the kills, Dimi. You need to go for <laughs> yeah. the kills. Go for the kills. You know, it's a, uh, Blood Bowl is a this game when the opponent is having a weak moment, you have to exploit it to the maximum. Yeah, it's mm. true, yeah. Never let off the neck. Well, he somehow got a hit on the ball. <laughs> Uh, it's red, yeah. I mean, no recovery. No. Well, who cares about the recovery right now? Just get that, the, the ball. I mean, yeah, if he double powers, then like he could send it into the crowd. Yeah, but... yeah. So either either he uphills for the for the ball scatter, or he or he double GFIs for the one day, but then he just gets served. So that's kind of pointless, isn't it? <laughs> it's. I mean, it's all 
seeming a bit pointless now. I struggle with uh, wanting to concede quite a lot. <laughs> and if I was DMED right now, I'd be thinking about it. <laughs> it gets the pow. No, oh, I'm great now. It's, uh, yeah, it's a really sad time for DMED because losing Zara was just horrific. I mean, losing the leader was also... Yeah, high, on a power... On a Pals the Blodger, Fail Dapo, and then Zara. And like now it's Griffin Peasants, isn't it? That's, that's basically yes, what we're looking Griff at. Griffin and a bunch of friends. Pretty, it's pretty fucked. I don't care how good you are at Bob Bowl, eh? It's, uh, it's not going to be a fun time. I'm so yeah. I, I I would have thought that there might be a bit more urgency to get this wolf in range of Griff because if he like, if you get rid of Griff, you, you just win. Yeah. I mean, if you also get rid of the rest of the whole team. Yeah, there's that. There's that. But like, I would like to see this wolf getting right up in Griff's grill. Yeah. And now he can move up very peacefully. So how many Bretonians we got now? Four. Wow. <laughs> oh no, excuse me, there's five. See, that wolf, I would have put more central so Griff can't just run over to the right. Mm. But I guess he's still protecting the ball. Loosely. Yeah, and this one can go over here to, to keep an eye on Griff. Oh, Dre is Russian, isn't he? He's Spanish. He's uh, Spanish. Oh, is he the... Yeah, he's the streamer, isn't he? Does he stream, out there? I think so, yes. Was he the dude who sorted out the uh, competition with Gary on? Uh, or is that Eludius? I'm getting Eludius mixed up with Aldrea. Ah, uh, yeah, Eludius did that, yeah. But so, Aldrea, Aldrea... Aldrea was on the Spanish team in that thing, and he was one that said, like... Jimmy Apes uh, needs to apologise to the Spanish because he said I was rubbish <laughs> at Blood Bowl. <laughs> Everybody uh, knows the one that hates the Spanish is uh, Andy Davo. Hmm. Well, well known uh, fact. <laughs> he's move, he's move bust, Fud. He's move bust that werewolf. Yeah. Yes. We cannot get all the way. yourself an admin well uh, <laughs> this is the kind of time that no match is gonna happen yeah so just funny the way what like was it. the last kebab that you have to do me going back uh, to the subject it was a while ago to be honest mate it was a while ago like three hours ago uh, a bit more than three hours ago I was supposed to make myself uh, make me and Michelle fry up today but I, I slept instead <laughs> <laughs> Bend, bend OP. Bend. This is a really sad state of affairs for uh, DMX. That's the proper desperation blocks trying to. Yeah, he's got nothing. Gets a pal. <laughs> I've got nothing left, Jim! <laughs> I gave my everything, I gave my everything on the pitch, coach. <laughs> I don't even know what he does in the second half here, like he's... He has a I mean, few he's not in range though, he's not in range though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, you, you want him to do a four plus five plus to hit him? Yeah. I don't think so. Whereas if he put him central like Dimmy would have done, he could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and actually hit him. So yeah, he definitely should have gone central with him. Dimmy was right. Thanks, thanks Jim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Dim. He must be ID. Set this pistol. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Taking the wind, yeah. <laughs> I like how he puts, you know, the, the extra assist in 
he doesn't need it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, I want to put the white here, you know, so the white can see how it's done. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy doing things like that. It's been a uh, gripping game of Blood Bowl. Hasn't it? Just, yes, yeah, yes. maybe this wasn't a great one to do live. <laughs> Whoopsie. It could have been, uh, you know, a lot of stuff going if uh, Diomed had any luck with the blocks or uh, something like that, you know? But, yeah, uh, yeah. This has been a bit of a dicing the, the wrong way is... for entertainment value. <laughs> yes, this is going to be, you know, the second half uh, Diomed is going to get his... Swash back in a uh, hat and sword. <laughs> yeah. And again, it's nothing, nothing against Elbrae, of course. It's just, you know, to be yeah, for an interesting match, you, you like, is a neutral, you'd rather the birds had a bit of luck. Yes. <laughs> I mean, for Elbrae, it's a perfect match. You know, everything uh, went his way, so I'm pretty sure he's very happy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, apart from the one who's died, nobody's died for Diamond. So, <laughs> so he, he can have a chance at the one turn with Griff, right? Oh, except there's three stand firm. Three stand firm. Yep. So he can't really have a go at the one turn. Um, so yeah, that's that's fun, isn't it? Super fun. Super interesting. Oh my god. And he's in, turn 8, perfect stuff. Well, <coughs> he can, he can uh, kill the 3 star farms, you know? Yeah. In the lowest hits. That's the magic of Blood Bowl. I wonder if you even risk the stand farms in the LOS. Maybe you should, but. <laughs> I mean, they have yeah. The zombies have, uh, the zombies, the golems, have thick skull and uh, regen, so I will put them. And the noise, taking no, no risks. Also, I don't know why, but I'm feeling a blitz. <laughs> they look like a yeah. Christmas team. This team, don't they? The uh, the birds with like the red, the red, white, and green. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that is some uh, high, high quality commentary there from uh, Mr. Fantastic. Fuck off, <laughs> what else? What else? There is not much to say uh, about this. I mean, we can ask you about the color of your vomit the other day, Dimi. <laughs> but uh... it looks a bit like Christmas, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a magical experience. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look where you started, Jim. Mm. I hope you're proud of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here comes the quality, the chat I quality am. that we are used to in this channel. Mm. It's gone full, full try hard. I mean, like, you don't need to do this if you've got free stand firmers. No, you don't. And uh, in fact, it's worse because yeah, because, because if he gets a, I mean, it, it's Griff. If he gets a quick snap, he can one turn off that wrestler, can't he? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, I guess they also a riot as well. Yeah, so you 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 could put those three on the LOS, but then set up the rest as if it could be a riot, right? That's probably the best defense. I mean, you, you can one turn off the quick snap. Yeah, but like now, but you could, you what he could have done is he could have just put those three on the LOS and then like defend the right with everybody else. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have just backlined with everyone else, to be honest. Hmm. But but probably the best, probably the best line is to then use the rest. Yes, of but if you backline, you don't approach the blitz that is coming. <laughs> that is no, brilliant coaching. I wonder how much fan factor was involved. <laughs> don't know. Don't care. <laughs> Sorry, Dimmy, I know uh, this is in reference to earlier. Uh, Dimmy, of course, qualified for GG Tour 
you know, he's beating Andy Davo um, in a glorious match where a pitch and a plus two pitch invasion. Still didn't have any more fun. Looked over everyone. Pivotal. Did you? Yeah, did I was. You... I would have won anyway. I would have won anyway. Yeah. I'd have been. I'd have been loads of trouble. Yeah, it didn't. Have <laughs> he didn't have eleven dice on the floor at all. Yeah, it's never it was ten. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh! See, so he's already used a dirty player. Hmm. Rookie mistake. Yeah, it's a bit because this would have been nice. This has been a nice. Quite no, the rolling pause with every single yeah. roll. You know? Classic Griff. Yep. This reminds me of a uh, Sergol team, this Bretonian team. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, especially now, not at the start of the game, but at this point <laughs> in the game. <laughs> <laughs> nice pass, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that play resumes the how it's been the first half for Aldrea. <laughs> a disaster after a disaster with the dice. Yeah. yeah, it's looking, it's looking really bad for Tony right now. Even with a whistle, like, what can he, what can he really I mean, he'll be lucky to score. Yeah, very lucky. Like he can use the whiz, the whiz and Griff can can get a touchdown, but he's just gonna, like, how how does he win? It's like it's so hard, isn't it? It's how so hard. Win? It's so hard. Yeah, I'm glad it's not me in this position. Yeah. How did yeah, he you, not You already you lost your game. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, know, I was actually doing alright at half time. Yeah. Hello, for good. But you knock it out Andy Davo from the GG tournament, so that's a, that's a big plus there. Yeah. That's it, mate. That's it. I mean, I only play well when there's money on the table. That's the truth of it. I'm a big cash player. <sighs> Yeah, glory is not for you. Glory doesn't buy kebabs. No, it doesn't. <laughs> awesome. Absolutely right. I should get a t-shirt that says glory doesn't buy kebabs. That is a fucking hell of a quote, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. As always, you know, uh, providing uh, content of all kind of uh, media. I mean, the funniest thing would be is that you'd be walking down the street with Glory doesn't buy kebabs on you, and then no one would know what it was like in reference to. So <laughs> it would be no, funny. No, no, but everybody will uh, laugh at it because it's hilarious. It cannot be applied to uh, anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's brilliant. Isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. That is that is a that is a hell of a slogan. <laughs> Okay, great. I'm off to I'm off to get a cup of tea. I'll put a nice nice view of the pitch on. <clears throat> there are probably some uh, Chinese company already making the shirts and the stickers. Oh, an armor break, a removal. You the start. Let's keep yeah. the, the going. He just needs another seven of those, and uh, he might have sorted. a chance. Yeah, sorted easy. You know, dicing comes, dicing goes. I mean, it, yeah, it could, it could swing. I mean, he's got what? Ten players, so he's only down. Well, like it's ten versus ten at this point. So, I mean, granted, what is it? Six of them are peasants. <laughs> Five of them are skillless. But it is ten versus ten. If the Pomber managed to start, you know, uh, doing the Lord's work. If he rolls a power, yeah, he hasn't he hasn't rolled a power yet, I don't believe, the bomber. I think what one and the pylon was nothing. But yeah, if he, you know, start uh, taking pieces out of the pitch, he can get the, with Grief and the Wizard. The funniest Easy thing score. is, uh, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I, I think he's gonna score, well, I don't know, actually, maybe not. Like, uh, you, you'll just see Aldrea's turn and then it will, it will just look horrendous. Like, it looks alright now, but as soon as Aldrea moves, it's going to look horrendous. Oh! Ah, oh, it's just a stun, but he's still got the pom. Dub okay. There you go. Does he get it? Gets it. Yeah, gets him. 
So that's 10 versus 9. A huge swing. <laughs> huge swing. The equity shifting. We need, we need a command, you know, a, a deal command. Nice yeah. command, you know, to send a random message. Equity has changed. 5% equity for a random number. Oh, is he off to? Oh, I guess he's going to protect the Pommer. Or not. I mean, the Pommer is his last piece able to, with grief, the only piece that can do something. It's quite interesting that, like, um, <clears throat> Aldrea's got a skill on every single zombie, and yet none of them have Dirty Player. Yeah. Like, it's really interesting. Oh, he's got a Dirty Player on the bench, has he? It's the power. The softest uh, target. He's not dead. He's not dead. Super interesting, in fact. Yeah, HDK. Almost as interesting as the Arsenal score today. Woo hey. Skillless zombies better than wrestle zombies. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know, but the thing is, the thing is, it actually becomes all right because it's got wrestle on everyone. Yes, like also, which makes it even better. Like, how oh, you are gonna get, you know, wrestle zombie with fan if you don't get the wrestle first? You know, classic yeah. wrestle uh, fan zombie. You know, to be one of the most annoying pieces. Yeah. <clears throat> Did the bird start with any blitzers? Yeah, they had a leader blodge blitzer that got powered into a move bust into a failed apo. Yes. So now they only have two rerolls and. They don't have any blitzers. They also started with Zara, who also got Kazd, um, which was horrendous. So they they've lost like at least 200 and something TV. Well, Zara's 250, I believe, and then the blitzer must have been another 160 odds. Yeah, so they're season, probably down yeah. 400 TV on their starting roster. Whereas the uh, the necromantic are uh, missing two zombies for this drive. Two wrestle zombies, no less. But... Great Gosh, camera work here. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. There were some uh, results for uh, Diomed, you know, getting uh, a couple pieces out, but uh, still. That's still incredibly difficult to get still done in the game. <laughs> exactly, Jim, yeah. <laughs> For want of a better word. Mm. Min Max Master really, uh, really sticking by his username, but no, skill of zombies are not better than wrestle zombies. Obviously, wrestle zombies are better. The question is, are they worth it? I mean, they're like it's, they're definitely better. <laughs> Russell Zombie is definitely better than Rookie Zombie, isn't? It? I mean, he could have like five DPS. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he could just have five DPS of power every turn. Hmm. But it's always the question, isn't it? Is the opportunity cost? And the... Yes. Yeah. And so they having Russell makes them, you know, you roll, they roll a double and get guard. They are less valuable than block guard, you know. Mm. And like a diving catch, a diving catch blitz rise is better than a rookie blitz rise, isn't it? Yes, 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 uh, yes, there is. I mean, you say that, that, Jim, you say that, but I'm not sure it is. <laughs> it definitely is. I don't know, like when you put the TV cost itself, into yes. it. No, that's what I'm saying, without the TV cost, that's what, exactly what I'm oh, saying. Oh, all right, yeah. oh. It but then you have to, you can't, you can't do that, you have to put the TV cost in it, because otherwise it's just not a comparison. Well, exactly. But that's the it's thing. Like but it's, it's it's better. But that's the thing. Everyone says like, well, the, the, that's kind of the argument that all these idiots say when like you know that you say that like you know, diving catch on a on a blitz rise shit. They're like, oh, but it's useful sometimes. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, everything. <laughs> no, is. no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it is sometimes. No, it's not. It is sometimes. Yeah. But it's no. just obviously not worth the TV. Like it's obviously not worth the TV, and it's obviously not worth taking something way better than it. Like you know, dodge or guard or mighty blow or paranormal or tackle or whatever. 
Oh man, we're gonna we, like this game's gonna spring to life in two or three turns. They're so gonna say two or three hours. <laughs> no, it's just like because obviously DM like DM doesn't want to go forward yet because it's too early. Like Griff only needs to be like three squares into his opposite half to score. Yeah. Um. So he'll quite happily sit back, I guess. Yes, but he need to reach those three squares. He does. And, and he's not looking very good. It's not, it's not. I mean, it wasn't looking very good at like turn three though, was it? Banged on. <laughs> Uh, I think the real question is, is can Diomed randomly kill something to make Aldrea's life worse for his next round? Yeah, that's that's the main question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Making things easier for the next opponent of uh, the Negro. Yeah. Like, yeah, uh, I agree, Ducky, yeah. it was uh, what, the only successful game I had in SFL. I uh, completely diced Steve's chores and then he won deed powered my flesh golem and killed it and it didn't reach him and but like, the whole win wasn't even worth the loss of the golem <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah god i hate leagues <laughs> yeah well yes i mean the second and third level up on a zombie the third one is very hard to justify yeah. But block or wrestle are very good on zombies. And the classic uh, wrestle fan zombie, you know, to be an extremely annoying, rage generating piece for the opposing <laughs> coach. Yeah. Of course, uh, you'll never have to get extra skills. Um, okay. In the new rules, right? You'll be able to get your zombies. We'll get like wrestle or block, and then double plus armor. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. It's genuinely gonna be amazing. Honestly, the plus AV matter. I'm telling you. I mean, plus strength is a western a zombie. I'll take it any day of the week. Mm. Plus strength. There's very few pieces on this game not become incredibly much better mm. it's plus strength big guys also, also who are you, are you with big guys well yes because you can take a obviously block yeah i think they're the ones that are probably the hardest decision but yeah for a regular piece who doesn't become better? Mm. Maybe there is an argument for a good elf catcher catch or something like that, you know, get, giving them guard. But it can I, be I, like, it can be a cut if it's like super early, if it's like the first skill on a rookie team, it can be a little bit detrimental because you're, you're just so bloated and yes. generally. Especially, especially if it's a piece that is not going like to get a lino. Yeah. Anyway, you know, a lino that like, yeah, you're not going to score with it. And then anything. it needs block, it needs dodge, it needs like all the other stuff as well to be actually usable, like realistically usable. I mean, Doctor Funk, that is so not, that is so untrue. Because if you don't know, gutter runners are below strength three, <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and they are definitely not a bit shit with plus strength. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, even Kislev catches, I would take strength on, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, because it makes, makes the... Human catches, yeah. Uh, yeah, makes the case dice will leap, you know, with the much easier. Because you can afford to do them, you know, with a 2 plus instead of a 3 plus. Well, it's like, it's like... Especially with human catches, if you get quick snaps and stuff like that, like, you can generally just punch your way through the back line rather than dodging. 
Yeah, I know, but it depends when it is ducky, doesn't it? I guess. Depends how much guard do you have already, probably. I I, I have no guard on my Kislev, and uh, uh, that is the way it's been decreed. Dimmy will never roll a double on any Kislev team ever. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what that you get for playing a Kislev, uh, Dimmy. Yeah, I mate, I played like 23 games on that team. I got like 25 skills, and I didn't roll a single double, and then I flick over to Rick's channel, and like he hasn't got a player that hasn't exactly. got a double. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you need to leave Kislev to the two professionals. Oh, how many is this streamers fair? trying to qualify? How is this fair? I mean, I, th I think all of the others, the strength two are below, you know. I think that's fair enough. You can argue that they're a bit shit, but just definitely not got as, you know, got as 100%. Got us with strength. Got us with strength. What about, what about goblins? Yeah, I, I would say goblins with plus strength are a bit shit. Like a bit shit. Like, I'm not saying it's terrible. I'm just saying a bit shit. Well, I mean, I didn't say it. Dr. Funk said it's a bit shit. I think that's fair to say, yeah. I think all of the other strength two guys are a bit shit with plus strength, but just definitely not gutters, right? Gutters is the thing. Gutters are insane with plus strength. Obviously, yes. I mean, having a plus agility on the stand is uh, epic on itself. Yeah. But again, I mean, that, that's what makes like that's what makes puggy OP is this strength free. Exactly, you know how many, you know, make the I most mean, if someone power uh, the piece of the game. If someone sniped me with Puggy, like, I would ban them. <laughs> also getting a gutter with a strength 3 allows the next double to be horns, and suddenly mm -hmm. you have a monster of a piece there in the making. Yeah, yeah wrestle horns on a gutter runner is disgusting, yeah. Most skip, like most mutations and gutters are just disgusting. To be fair. End of the day, there is a reason why strength is the hardest thing to get on the game. Mm -hmm. Or well, mate, it's going to be ATTV next uh, season. Next season, next third uh, football. Yeah, it's, yes, it's almost because, uh, plus, almost plus, dead. Plus strength in many pieces become game breaking uh, pieces. Plus strength for the mummy. You might not take plus strength for the mummy. No, definitely not. They definitely not. I've seen a few. Well, definitely not for 80k, sorry. I was, I was... Yeah. No, for 80k, no. No, for 80k, no. Block. I would. Wee! Wee. That's what she said. Wee. Wee. Is there is there a world where he just potatoes up the left here? Yeah, I think that's what he's thinking about. Yes, I, I think I, he's... Uh... Getting mentally ready to the, for the potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Assuming the reality, you know. Like and then he can, can, he can, he can uh, potato up the left, dodge the guard blitzer that's on the golem, uh, up and tag the wolf, I guess. So, I mean, hang it's on, one, it's pretty two. terrible. Whatever he does, let's be. Yeah, it's gonna be full potato. Mm -hmm. Get ready for a Maris Piper, lads. It's gonna this, blitz down this firmer. cool end. Oh. Very bad. That was not the play. No. Rolling a 1 in 9 there wasn't the play at all. Terrible idea. Oh, he's not potato in. We'll have to, we'll have to coach Diamond sometime. Rolling. Rolling 1 in 9. Rolling better, yes. Terrible Rolling better. A port, a port. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, he's rolled a lot of terrible dice as well this game. Yeah, just quite like Hello, oh wow, look, he's saying that we are lovely people, but then he used the Gedanic Liar mode. I mean, what? Wow, does, does, what? That's. I, can I ban him, Jim? <laughs> you, you can, Dim, yeah. <laughs> I, actually, I actually couldn't ban Sato. He's, uh, he's a great guy, despite, despite him saying that I'm not a lovely person. <laughs> He's a lovely fellow. I mean, he's, he's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth, but he shouldn't say it. Yeah, yeah. Truth hurts, man. <laughs> it's Sunday, you know. We are weak. <laughs> we are in recovery. Oh, oh, that's a huge one. Oh! oh! Holy oh, shit. it's game on, boys! It is massive game on. This failed dodge, and then the 
peasant holding him, so he gets two free free players here, and then that double skulls. He's got he's got a real strong push forward. He can get to overtime here. It's such an ego deceive that uh, Jimmy lost his voice. Yeah, it sounds like Jimmy's balls dropped last night. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, I'm fucked. My throat is absolutely yeah. destroyed. <laughs> it's <he's reached> puberty. <laughs> did you go? Did you go to the karaoke or what? <laughs> no, I just shouted a lot. I just shouted and laughed a lot. I didn't sing. I, I might have done glass boy. Did you do a touchdown dance? Was that you? If not, I called someone else a dickhead as well. <laughs> you can't be angry at people doing a. I do it all the time as well. I do the touchdown dance all the time. It's, it's so... the same as getting angry at getting tea bag on a you know a PvP oh, game. Oh like, no, I, I remember. Care. I don't I... care. I remember the fireball. I remember that now. Yeah, I apologise. I shouldn't have called you a dickhead. <laughs> it was funny. I L Play Gamer called you a dickhead when when you did the when you did the touchdown dance against him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even what, I didn't even read it. I didn't even see it. I was like, yeah. oh, no, I like on his stream. He was streaming it, and I, I had it open, and he was like, oh, what a what a dickhead or something. When he did, I don't remember exactly what he said, but he he had a bit of a rant when 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 you did it. I enjoyed it. Mate, KFO does it, and I'm not being funny. I I always try and emulate KFO because he's the best in the world. So, yeah. what? Why would you not? If he does something, there must be a reason why. And, exactly. Uh, so, I will. I will. And why not celebrate your touchdowns? You know, yeah. celebrate your touchdowns. Yeah. Celebrate your wins. Like, Hello, there's not, there's not much to celebrate when you're playing Blood Bowl. You might as well celebrate because I tell you what, glory doesn't pay for kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go. I, I think my uh, legacy on the Blood Bowl uh, history is already made. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> 100%. Wow. Oh wow, that's brutal, Perivale. Oh man, having to rip. Oh yeah, that's 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 like an emotional thing, isn't it? It's uh, mm. like I would reschedule it for a different day. Like if I could, I wouldn't want to play that straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the same game again and then it ends. Yeah, I like my mental capacity is too weak to play instantly back to back. I'd I'd probably ask. If we could, uh, or, or maybe you know you could use some analytics, an you know, to get advice from uh, other coaches, you know, so you don't have to. Uh... Yeah, what was that? Oh, that was fad, wasn't it? Yeah. Hello, kebab mercy, and hello, hello, Peravel, hello, Kalon, hello, anybody else I missed? Sorry. I don't know why, but whenever Perivale chats in your chat, I always think it's Purple Chest. Because <laughs> it's his name is Purple. Yeah, uh, mm. only available the wrong times during the week. Yeah, yes. Mongloom is a great guy, just quietly as well. I really like Mongloom. I think he's a Spanish uh, as well. Yeah, Mongloom is a right good guy. I like the, his uh, name based on the, one of the characters of the Elric of Melibone novels. Is that a Spanish well, thing? No, it was it's a British uh, writer, Michael Moorcock. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yes, yes. Give me, give me Moorcock. Yes, yes, and he's one of the most influential uh, writers in uh, fantasy <laughs> in history, you know, the guy that invented the multiverse, chaos, you know, the chaos uh, symbol of what uh, you see in uh, Games Warsaw products, mm. you know, the eight arrows and all that, that's an idea of him, that Games Warsaw copyrighted, <laughs> so wow. he has to ask them for permission. <laughs> I tell you what, if, uh, if uh, Diamond scores without using the wizard here, that's pretty fantastic. It is, yeah. Like, he's actually made a game of this. I mm. mean, obviously, the 1 in 81 also made a bit of a game of it. Yes. But, I mean, at like being so far ahead, you would have thought Aljaya might have punished him a little bit. Yeah, no, this is definitely good for uh, Diamond. So is he just gonna... That is one of the funny things in Blood Bowl, you know, when one of the teams is very way ahead, you know, the, the coaches, uh, we tend to, off, you know, uh... to, oh, okay, this is done, sort of, okay, I can relax, and suddenly, you know, three translators, like, oh, did I end in this situation? <laughs> I always, yeah, I always play terrible when I'm ahead. 
The worst is when someone like kind of like soft concedes and they're like, oh, I'll just finish the game and you're just like, all right, and then you just start doing stuff really stupidly and then <laughs> and then they start playing again and you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no armor break there is it? lush. Question is, does he dodge this white? I think he has to, otherwise he's just out of the game. Yeah, I think he probably has to too. A base griff, maybe? Hmm. From, maybe from not if this guy wasn't stunned, right? If this guy wasn't stunned, maybe at least he's doing something there, like yeah. two people, but I guess when he's only on one, you go for the dodge off. But then, hmm. of course, you are freeing this guy up to get down and maybe be relevant if you fail it, so. It's probably right to dodge, I would think. I mean, Griff is just potato in this. The, the right play do. was dodge because you are, uh, you know, getting use of a mighty block, guard, something, piece. And yes, he gets a free, uh, you know, a block, dirty player, piece, and but now the, but the, the question the, the is and, the piece and is doing the Lord's uh, job there because he's holding a very valuable piece. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, I mean, I know it's terrible, but it's it might be tempting to try and power the wolf. Yeah, that's the, yeah, I know. I was thinking that as well. And it's so terrible, but if, if it works, it's so good. Like you, you could just try this dodge off and blitz, right? Like you know, you just stand here yeah. and then just go over this. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Screw it. But like, you if you get, get the power, him, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Power on an armor break is just redonkulously good. I think uh, he's going uh, for the Blitz, yes, with the Gurusel Garfen. That's a dodge, you know. Uh... I mean, he doesn't have any other players anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, like, oh, should I dodge with the Peasant or the IG3 Peas? <laughs> or just 1D with the Peasant, pray for the. Or the pow, the armor break, and the kill. Yep, I mean that's pretty pretty good. You can't beat that dice roll if you can do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, if he powers that wolf, it is redonkulously good. It's funny, you know, I, uh, I slept from like 3 a.m. till 7 a.m. and then I've been trying to sleep the rest of the day and have failed. <laughs> Nah, and now I'm it. absolutely shattered. <laughs> as soon as, as soon as the casting starts, I'm just so tired. No. Oh. Yeah, and to be fair, Perival, you've probably got the uh, psychological edge over Mongloom anyway, because uh, like, imagine winning the overtime toss and probably the game, and then having to replay it. That's a good. That's a good point. It's like, unless he was completely smashed, he's probably going to win from there, right? Mm -hmm. Pissant? <laughs> what? Yeah, peasant sounded like pissant, didn't it? Like Cian? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I had two actual elves left, wow. And you, like... <laughs> mm -hmm. but, <laughs> That's really, I'd be so pissed off. <laughs> I would be incredibly pissed off. Oh, he doesn't take the block. Uh, my jumper is purple. <laughs> or <laughs> would have been a one in nine. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> my jumper is blue. I don't know the why. The dice maybe don't blue. work as people think. <laughs> so this is the thing. Even if he dodges the wolf, he's still red dice on a bludgeo. It's like. It's extremely powerful. The having the the you know the wall with the grief. Yeah, the, I think this uh, Aldrea thinks I've gone uh, his way this half, and suddenly you know lost control of the situation and hasn't had the chance to recover it. I mean, like he should never ha he should never be in a position where both werewolves are easily run around the ball like do you know what I mean like when you're yeah. this far ahead you should always have like a sweeper wolf that yeah. no matter where he potatoes there, there's just nowhere for him to go and the fact that he just walked past two werewolves is I mean yes he did one in 81 which is a thing but <clears throat> like the other wolf should have been able to like pick up like you, the, 
that's the the hardest part of Necro, isn't it? Like playing the walls in tandem, so they're both always available. Like there's yeah. the whole thing with Necros, you just can't escape them, and basically oh, Demir just walk down the left flank. <laughs> like, just... mm -hmm. Yeah, that's weird, that isn't it, Sadu? If he's won the toss, then um, who cares? <laughs> like at the end of the day. It's weird, like, why doesn't the game just automatically pick, like, you go on offense? Oh, like... so, like, the game just stopped. I guess the game stopped, sadly, that was it, right? I guess the game just crashed rather than... Do you know what I mean? He couldn't pick anything, so the game just couldn't happen, right? So oh, it's... all right, all right, so, all right. So, yeah, he just probably just couldn't play on, right? And, uh, also, yeah, you would look out, it was move bust the, uh... Oh, he's just freed that peasant. Why has he done that? Can he get out of range of the uh, strength wolf? Um, Tag the ghoul? I don't think he can get out of range, can he? On the right, all the way over on the right nah, with all the two he's, he's two across and he only goes one further. Or well, can he get that peasant down? Yeah, I mean, he can. Yeah. Right, if he puts Griff all the way across on the right and then puts the peasant on the... the the left quatrix yeah. of uh, <laughs> yeah that's pretty that's pretty strong of it's Griff. probably good enough <laughs> oh disappointing like he doesn't want to give him a two turn does he so yeah I think you probably do do that I think you probably do do that but he's giving him the two turn I think maybe he should have done the dimmy G play of the uh, the peasant on the left quatrix <laughs> <laughs> Servers have been rough lately, have they? <laughs> Why? <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> it was the most heartfelt thing anyone's ever said. <laughs> on oh yeah. So yeah. So he said he had two actual wells left, but he had. Five. <laughs> <laughs> so a complete lie, basically. Yeah. <coughs> oh god. Short disconnected. Yeah, I when my chalice game against um, Spartacus, like he DC'd like five times in the first minute, and then it was fine after that. But like he said that it was his internet. <laughs> yeah, Rick Basin, I didn't understand the rest of the sentence, but I understood fine here and why. But yeah, I was I couldn't remember. <laughs> couldn't work it out. But thanks, thanks for clarifying. <laughs> Clarifying uh, what sorry I was grabbing an iron brew. <laughs> iron brew, oh man. Iron brew, yes. Did they uh, did they change the recipe or did they get it? Yes, they have to take uh, the around sugar. eighty percent of the sugar, so it's only thirty grams of sugar per can. I drink, I, I drink the one without sugar because obviously trying you know uh, to keep the line and uh, have something sweet. Yeah, iron brew is banging. I buy iron brew quite often. Right. For Hanovers, if you are having Hanover, the proper iron brew was always good stuff because it was just money with. Oh yeah, <laughs> sugar in it. It's just sugar though. That's like sugar's good for a hangover. Also, is grease. Nothing better than a fry up. Oh, I thought you'd meant like John Travolta. Uh, yeah, That's like I think, brew cream, I think isn't he, it? I think he was trying to say fat, but yeah. Well, it's grease, isn't it? Like you get a silver spoon, like you get, oh, a silver spoon. You get like a greasy spoon. Oh, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Oh, when you fry your egg and just. There is eyebrow beef. Well, of course there is eyebrow beef. What, what, what are you even asking? Yeah. I had some eggs today, but not not greasy ones. I had soft boiled eggs. Oh, mate, you got. You need to get those poachies, Jim. They're, honestly, the best purchase that I've made in in. The last five years, I think. All right, I'll, 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 I'll get them. So, you know, they're like little tea bags that you put, you break an egg into, and then you boil it in the water for like five minutes, and they make perfect poached eggs. You've seen the video evidence. The, yeah. You've seen the pictures, yeah, Jim. Did look good. Did look was good. It gold, 
golden ratio, you know. Yeah, yeah, I had the golden ratio. I, had, you know, I had, today I had, I had, you know, the little uh, soldiers, the little uh, toast soldiers, people call them. Don't yeah, dippy eggs. Yeah, yeah, soldiers. Yeah, that's yeah. what we used to call them. Yeah. Eggs. I haven't had a boiled egg in ages. To be fair. I, I don't mind a boiled egg. Yeah, well, I had that today. Pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking the eggs with the <laughs> with the toast. Wow. <laughs> ah, poor cheese. Oh, uh, Jack Bull's leaving us. Oh no. What are we gonna do? We might as well stop. Alright, enjoy gym. your uh, NFL. Oh shit, yeah, the NFL's on today. Oh man. Oh man. Is it, is it oh, only on man. Sundays, is it? See, Jack Bull, mostly on Sundays. There's like mostly on Sundays, and there's a game Mondays. Yeah, and Thursdays sometimes and stuff. Poachies. All right, I'm going to buy these poachies. Thank you, Dimrath. Oh, have you seen them? Have you Googled them? Yep. Yeah. yeah, they're amazing, mate. Like, me and uh, Michelle, well, Michelle, I say me and Michelle. Michelle ordered, like, a catering pack with, like, 200 of them in. Catering mm. pack 200? Poachies. And that's the yeah. catering pack that's supposed to be the small ones. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. I haven't had a poach egg in a while, to be fair. Should probably have one. It's so good though. And they feel healthy when you're eating them as well, don't they? Yes. Eggs are really, really good. I had uh, fried eggs today for uh, lunch with a stick. And, and a stick. Uh, bread. Oh, yes. like a breadstick? No, no, like a beef stick. Oh, really? A steak. A steak. Oh, sorry. Steak, yeah. Yes, a ram. Uh, a sirloin. Yeah. Mm. Wow. That's my Sunday uh, lunch. Cheat, cheat Always. More or less. More or less. Coming after a cheat night. You know, uh, let's <laughs> I've had a cheat week. In fact, I was going too hard on the uh, cutting calories. Thursday I was training and I was like, oh, I'm not feeling well at all. This is not feeling right. <laughs> training a little more. Yeah, definitely. Okay, guys. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm having a cheat life. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. Yeah. I don't know about the wizard, mate. Honestly, I because uh, the thing is, is if if you use it, then and you don't lose, then that's great. And if you don't use it and you lose, it's terrible, isn't it? But... Yeah. <clears throat> I, I would have personally gone for the stall last turn, right? And then I think so. Yeah. With this, you probably save it because you know if you want. Uh, yeah. Chance, you oh, you definitely don't roll a one there. Yeah, don't roll a one. Though. That was a bad decision. He might have lost here. Glory doesn't buy you commands. Oh, he's double one it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, uh, the good the good news is is the wizard would have failed anyway. Yes. <laughs> oh poor dear man. He actually gave him a run for his money, but yeah, the stall. I think the stall was there. <laughs> Blitzers are not bloat. Um, yes. Hold on, hold on. Oh, <laughs> oh he's second. rolled one. Wait Ooh. a second. Is it quad ones? No. It's not quad ones. Oh. But it's a GFI. I wouldn't be quad ones isn't anyway because the, arm, the armor are. It's a GFI though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a GFI. Ooh. It was a GFI anyway because the other wolf is uh, move busted. Yeah. You, no, nobody's ever failed a 2 plus into the end zone. <laughs> <laughs> I have this never one. seen ever in my life. In, uh, I've uh, never seen commentator. anyone fail a 2 plus into the end zone before. They, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> Here comes the classic moment. Okay, I don't know exactly what uh, he's doing, but please don't roll dice. Yeah, exactly. No, he didn't. Uh, easy. I like that. Uh, I think that lightning kit is one of the best kits in Blood Bowl, just quietly. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, I really like that one. And I like the Mr. Page kit, the blue lightning one for the chaos. Yeah. yeah. I think they're the two best kits in uh, Blood Bowl. Some of the Dark Elf kits are pretty good as well. And that High really elves. annoys me when people play with really bad Dark Elf kits, because you're like... High Elves also have some really cool kits. Yeah. I, I don't really like the High Elf ones, to be fair. I think Pro Elves have some nice ones, too. No, I hate the pink jaws. I hate the pink jaws, and I hate the pink Gavens. 
Well, there you go. Um, congratulations to Aldrea. Commiserations to Diamed. Obviously, it was a huge mismatch in teams, but uh, Diamed did had a good shout, didn't he? Like, you know, he he played he played well. He tried to give himself a he shot. He managed. But... He managed, you know, to force uh, Aldrea to score in a uh, time sixteen. You know, rolling dice. So yeah. at some point, you know, the game was sorted. Yeah, it was a good effort. A good effort. Thank you very much, Dimi and Fami. Absolutely glorious having you on. As always, incredible. As always, a pleasure to be here. And remember, guys, glory doesn't buy you kebabs. <laughs> it certainly doesn't. And uh, to be fair, we actually got a bit of a game out of that, despite it looking horribly one-sided after uh, Zara and the, the Blitzer left the pitch. Indeed. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.